we're going to take a few moments to read an entertaining but brief biography about the life of Antonio Vivaldi. His nickname was the Red Priest. Antonio Vivaldi was born in Venice, Italy in 1678. He died in Vienna, Austria in 1741. He's remembered today for being the most original and influential Italian composer of his generation, most famous for his 400 concertos, especially the Four Seasons. Sunny, warm Venice was a place where you couldn't get away from music. Gondoliers serenaded up and down the canals. Fruit vendors whistled. Shoemakers and shoppers sang from morning to night. Festivals, theaters, parties, and religious services required a constant supply of new music. Antonio Vivaldi's father had big plans for him. He taught him the violin, got him a job as a violinist, and sent Vivaldi into the priesthood when the boy was 15 years old. Father and son played duets at church. By the time Antonio was 25 and took a job teaching violin at the Pieta Orphanage for Girls, he was earning four times as much as his father. Vivaldi was to spend most of his life at the Pieta, Next to the big iron gate of the orphanage was a little nook in the wall where every morning the porter checked for new arrivals. Orphaned or abandoned babies were given a home and taught music. The girls gave concerts that were a highlight of musical life in Venice. They sang like angels and played their instruments with great skill. It was said that the Pieta had the best disciplined orchestra in Italy at that time yet the girls were seldom seen. At concerts, they were hidden from the audience by an iron gate, possibly because some were deformed. Since they performed in a church, no applause was allowed, and people expressed enthusiasm by coughing, shuffling their feet, and blowing their noses loudly. Vivaldi had to make sure everything ran smoothly. During intermissions, he would keep people entertained by playing his violin. He had thick, curly red hair, and sometimes he wore robes. More people knew him by his nickname, the Red Priest, than by his real name, but he did not seem especially priestly. He didn't say mass. He said that his weak condition, possibly asthma, prevented him from getting through a long religious service. But others said that he was forbidden to say mass because he was always disappearing from the altar to jot down musical ideas. Vivaldi may have been sickly, but he worked hard. He taught violin, conducted the orchestra, performed at concerts, and bought musical instruments for the school. Outside the orphanage, he toured in support of his own playing and composing. Vivaldi wrote music for all occasions. He was one of the most prolific composers in the history of music. Vivaldi must have been full of energy and probably didn't have time to be temperamental. He didn't agonize over his work and he was respectful to those in authority and he never seemed to get in trouble. Sometimes he was playful, putting little jokes in his music. He was terribly sensitive to criticism and he was notoriously vain. He liked to boast about his fame, his rich patrons, and his ability to write music so quickly. Some people think he sometimes lied, saying he had written 94 operas, for example, when only 49 have ever been found. Vivaldi was obsessed with money. He was always, he always asked the highest possible price for his music, but he also spent his money. When he died, at 63, from a mysterious inflammation, he died poor and his music was out of fashion. Not until the music of Bach was rediscovered over a hundred years later, and it was seen how much Bach respected the Red Priest, did interest in Vivaldi's music revive. And some interesting facts. The Four Season, a set of violin concertos, is one of the best known works in Italian musical history. 
Parts of the music were meant to sound like turtle doves and goldfinches, flashes of lightning, a barking dog, fierce winds, and chattering teeth. While for many people today, this is Vivaldi's most beautiful work, it was also voted the most boring composition by New York radio listeners in 1984. If Vivaldi was really in a hurry, he'd borrow tunes from his earlier music or from other composers, but then so did other musicians of the time. One of Vivaldi's greatest admirers, Bach, borrowed some of Vivaldi's work and used it in his own compositions. In 1989, two of the top ten compact discs selling in England were Vivaldi's music. So you can see through the life of Vivaldi that there is interest, even though he lived many hundreds of years ago, and interest still in the beautiful music that he composed and left to us to enjoy even in 2020. <laughs> 